Yeah. All right, thank you everybody for uh, being here. Kaka, and um, so how many of you have ever wanted to testify for a county council agenda item, something that was important for you, but just couldn't, would it? Yeah. Um, why? Maybe it was because you had to work, you're in school, physically hard to get to. Maybe you're afraid to state your opinion in public. There's a lot of factors. Um, or you just didn't know how to. Take me for example. So I'm the president of the Lahaina Town Action Committee in Maui, and I have to regularly testify. Um, I wanna walk you through what that means for me. This last time, I rearranged my whole work schedule. Um, I also had my two-year-old with me, because I couldn't find anyone to take care of him. Uh, so I strap him in, get him into the car seat, get his snacks, his toys, drive like an hour across the poly to Wailuku, um, look 15 minutes for parking, uh, finally get to the chamber and um, sign in, wait an hour, and then finally I'm called up. Well, guess what? No quorum. So, you know, anything I say that day is not gonna be voted on. I actually, for that same agenda item, had to go back twice till they finally voted on it. So, um, all in all, um, you know, it's, it's hard because at the same time I had my two-year-old with me, so you can imagine that. Um, so what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this picture? The current system doesn't make it easy to voice your opinion. Currently, um, these are the steps that we have. Right now, you have a three-minute in-person testimony. Um, you know, basically, if you don't show up, your voice isn't heard. Um, and that's one of the important things to remember. Um, and so, we also have district offices in Hana, Lanai, and Molokai. And then there's written testimony, but you know, not everyone communicates that way. So, what's the result? Well, like I said, um, if you don't show up, your voice doesn't get heard. So, imagine this. Imagine being able to testify where you want, how you want, and when you want to. Imagine that the council can see your every emotion, can be where you are, can feel what you're feeling. What we're talking about is a video testimony app that you can use from the convenience of your smartphone. We're talking about three-dimensional communication to engage in the civic process. Let's think about the possibilities, the freedom that this allows our indigenous people, everyone. I mean, what's a better way to show stream flow restoration, you know, than being right at the stream? Um, perhaps sharing a melee. Let's allow the advances in technology to work for us. So, how does it work? Well, you find the agenda item that you want to testify on. You click it, and then you testify, hit testify, there's a record um, kind of button on the side, and then there's a countdown, because you only have three minutes to do so. So we want to make the process as easy as possible. There's also a how-to tutorial as well on the bottom. If it's your first time testifying, you just want to get familiar and do some research on how to testify. So, we have a three-phase rollout plan. Uh, civic engagement platform is the first thing we want to build with voter education, uh, as well as uh, providing mobile testimony and video testimony. Um, phase two, once we have a strong user base, work with current council to amend the county charter to permit live video. And then phase three is council adopts live video testimony. We want to take this to a live platform. Um, yeah. So this technology will make their job easier. Um, it's going to basically show if they're for or against the item and the bill itself that's being talked about. We reached out to um, Maui County and about 85% of people said that they would use this. There's other testifying apps, uh, there's other you know, civic engagement apps, but nothing that provides video. And so that's one of the things that I thought that would be important for us uh, is that video time. I just wanna leave with one thing. Uh, you know, throughout this process, we talk about the most important thing for me is like how can we learn to be Hawaiian or think Hawaiian, right? Well, how are you gonna do that if you can't hear Hawaiians? And um, that's one of the things I learned from Pono through this whole connections phase. And so 
Uh, Tabitha and I want to bring civic engagement to the 21st century. That's my beautiful wife. She's much smarter than me. I know I missed some points, but you know we're really, we really want to make this happen, and I think it's gonna be a great thing for the community. So, aloha. Thank you for the time. Yeah, so it was actually a conversation that I was having. I like uh, kind of, you know, the test here, but um, there's a council person, um, Stacy Pro, and she would always start the council meetings like kuka kuka, you know, kind of like let's talk story. Uh, it means there's a deeper meaning to it. Um, it's like connecting uh, and getting together and connecting. I think that's that's the missing link for you know for a lot of things that our um, you know community goes through. like being able to more connect with each other in a profound way, and the, yeah, that's why we chose it. Yeah. Question, um, Elena Farden from Elements Accelerator. So thank you for sharing your um, idea. And voter apathy in Hawaii has been low, yeah. the lowest in the state for years. So with civic engagement, I'm wondering how might uh, the app, or could you share the rollout aspect of the app in not only using it, but how do they get others to either say submit testimony on, on this particular bill or hearing that's going to happen? Yeah, so I think that social engagement platform in the beginning that we want to create is, is basically getting the users involved and then allowing them to reach out in the community and, and maybe even say, hey, this agenda item is coming up. Can I sign up for, you know, perhaps a way where I can connect uh, people that I think would like this in order for them to use this as kind of a portal and you know an a easier way to connect right now if you go to the, the the Maui County site and specifically Maui County it's it's very convoluted there's a lot of different steps we want to just make it as easy as possible so we can get more people to engage I, I think that the struggle of actually you know from point A to point B of getting your testimony like I talked about just personally um, is what deters a lot of people and then you know you don't get that engagement mm -hmm. so uh, Dave Carlson, from the school. So first of all, I think it's really cool because for me, I kind of struggle with public testimony. Yeah. So I think having something like this is super helpful. Um, so two things. I think the first thing was the um, for the plat for the rollout. It seems like there still has to be like a permit approval process so that video testimony can be used. If you guys are like where you guys are kind of are in that. Yeah. And two, what I also see is like like I love your story, but have you guys thought about even for like Kupuna who aren't as able bodied? How they might be able to leverage this kind of technology and so yeah and those, those are the first people we thought of um, as well um, I think that's gonna be really important and we reached out to a broad like spectrum of individuals and those are one of the people we identified because it's about learning from them right and, and, and sharing their knowledge and um, in, in informing those decisions but uh, to get back to your question um, that rollout process um, basically um, I'm sorry once again for the, for the Delta, huh? charter amendment. Oh yeah, so the charter amendment, What we talked to Kelly King, she's the council chair, and, and that's where we identified the issue. It's really like we need to, um, she basically told us we need to provide the people and, and make the change happen, and, and, and bring Maui County to the 21st century. So right now you can only get your, your, your sort of testimony on record if you're physically standing there. Um, what we want to say is everyone is in a remote situation, whether it be remoteness because of work, whether it be remoteness because you can't get childcare or you provide elder care. Uh, everyone is kind of remote in that sense, right? Because you can't physically get there. So the same precedent that exists for remote testimony sites like Hana, Molokai, Lanai should exist for individuals as well because so my remoteness is not based on physicality perhaps, but my time and commitment to yeah. Sorry, so you find my from LA. So you do have already uh, precedent for remote testimony. Yeah. So you're just reframing the so charter. Your, 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 we just need to reword it to allow it. So it's, it's already there because it's already, because it's already on it. Yeah, it's, it's already valid. It's not submissible in its form unless it's on the Maui charter ballot. Yeah. So the Maui County votes for it. When is it next? When is the charter amendment to on the ballot? Um. So the remote. Part of it already exists. We just have yes. to add this part to it, so and then you have, don't have to go in no. front of. No. Okay. We just have to have the council, the council. Re, reword it to allow for it, the video component. 
and people and then, you're advocating within because it's hard to support yeah. something if it's too far away from when it could actually exist because there's a barrier yeah. to entry called city government, sure. Molly County government. So yeah, so they're all your friends, you know them all, you're all into it. I, I, I think, uh, yeah, 70 percent of them are into it. Uh, we, we reached out to all the council members okay. that we so could, and so yeah, I think right now is a perfect uh, atmosphere. So just be very specific, time. Okay. Next year. Time. Next year. Okay. All right, that's fine, guys. Five minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys.